Alright, Mr. Neon here. Welcome back to The Sims. This will be the final video. Right now, we will review characters on The Sims 1. We might review more families later, maybe. The final one will be a Sailor Moon family, Opposition Ascendancy family, the other evil guys of uh, Sailor Moon Another Story, a role playing game released for the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo, I mean, the Super NES back in 1995 in Japan only. In, in 2007 and 2008 I believe they released uh, fans released fan made translations of the game. So I played the game for the first time on emulator for the SNES back in 2008. And it was a great game. In 2019 I believe that fans released an, an even better translation. Okay. So these are the characters of Sailor Moon, another story, the role playing game that I have started to play on my YouTube channel. The reason that I had the entire game on my channel back in 2008, but my old channel. So we have the villains here. We have uh, Sin. She looks like an alternate Sailor Moon. Of course, the models didn't have anime eyes and anime faces, so they look more. Amer Americanized in, in, in this The Sims game. Many of the models back in the day they <coughs> had great models and hairstyles, but the faces looked very vanilla Sims 1 or you know Americanized. So they do not have like the Dragon Ball characters or, or one, uh, one Piece characters, they do not have uh, proper anime eyes and such. But their bodies are great and the hairstyles, just not uh, the eyes and the face. Uh, but still, I think the models are pretty good, and uh, yeah, these characters are based on Sailor Moon Another Story, the role-playing game, the 2D role-playing game, so it's like Final Fantasy VI graphics, so this is the first time we could actually see the characters in 3D. Uh, so Sin is like an alternate uh, Sailor Moon, she is like an evil version of Sailor Moon, <coughs> Nergal. I believe it's an alternate Sailor Mars and uh, Nabu is an alternate Sailor Mercury and uh, Ishtar is an alternate Sailor Venus and uh, Marduk is an alternate Sailor Jupiter so they are not exact clones of those characters but they are evil characters that uh, look similar, they do not look exactly the same and they do not have the same personality or or traits but they do kind of look the same as the sailor sensei <coughs> or sailor warriors they, they just uh, um, they have a different personality and uh, different motives and are kind of anti-heroes unlike the heroes of the show of course then we have Apsu or Shaman Apsu main villain of the game. They are like cult leader. The great model. Really like the model. Always found Apsu to be attractive in on the on the art, the 2D art. And they released Sailor Moon Another Story, I believe, on YouTube. Uh, uh, sorry, on Google. When you search for Sailor Moon Another Story, Apsu you get really good art. You know, manga or anime art of the characters and Apsu always looked she has, of course, an evolution where she transforms into a monster. You fight her when she looks like this. She's a sorceress, like uh, <coughs> like Queen Beryl. But uh, then, uh, when you have defeated her, she transforms uh, into a monster form of herself, and you need to defeat that form too. And when she's a monster, she's not attractive. But yeah, I, I always liked female characters with uh, dresses like this that go down all the way to the bottom. I always found that attractive. <coughs> so if I were one of the male characters in the show, I would have probably joined that so because she's fucking attractive. Anyway, <coughs> the model is great for Sims 1. See, they do not have the anime eyes, but I still like the model. Tried moving these models over to Sims 1. The only model I managed to, f to move over after a lot of uh, trial and error was Epsu. 
Unfortunately, <coughs> unfortunately, um, I fucked up by updating Sims 1, so no custom characters work anymore, and I haven't made a video. Okay, but it's the same models as seen here, just uh, you're able to zoom in more and rotate and all that. They look better. The engine is more modern, so it's like an HD version of these models, uh, where you can move in much closer to the faces and such. Okay, if you check the characters, you can see that Sin is a master villain, Ergal is a <coughs> facet climber, Nabu is a smuggler, Ishtar is a like uh, Bundefongerska, she's like <coughs> she use uh, like uh, farmers uh, or ordinary people and uh, then she can uh, I believe uh, defraud them she can she can trick them out of their money pretty much and Marduk um, she is uh, kind of a criminal too I have a hard time um, translating Swedish words directly but she uh, she would uh, do criminal stuff as well. All of them are criminals. Apps is a cult leader, master villain, facade climber, smuggler. And uh, yeah, the others are criminals too. Okay, relationships. They have good relationships with each other. They are all villains, so none of them like each other too much, but I believe that game, every one of these, uh, all of them will start liking each other, I believe um, they have the same relationship as, as the sales sense used, yes they are, it, they have different motives but they, they like each other, uh, Apps of course is different, she is like evil villain leader, they will turn on Apps in the end and <coughs> these five will become good in the end, but Apps uh, she will be defeated. So we can say that Apps is leading them to do bad stuff and <coughs> the others are following Apps, but at the end of the day they will be turned into good characters by the sailors, the sailor sensei, sailor warriors, but of course Apps uh, will be defeated as the final boss of the game. She's the one I thought was more, most attractive. If you look at her the style. This is the only game where I found the 3D models of the Sailor and other story characters. I mean, uh, there are uh, Sailor Moon characters for Sims 3 and Sims 4, but I don't believe that the Sailor Moon and other story characters have been remade for modern games. Oh, and here it was on, on a visit here. Okay. Okay. Can you watch me now? It's a couple of seconds. Too much. Yeah, the Pepsi character looked great. <laughs> I, feel, I like the <coughs> I like the villains the most in the game. In another story. Okay. <coughs> but uh, thank you for watching. When I watched the show, I liked. Um, I believe um, uh, Mamoru or the Tuxedo Mask the most. But when I played the game, I liked. And Apps, of course, is the, the, my favorite. Okay, because she looks the, the best. There's really, really nice art of Apps uh, from the developers of the game, official art. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.